Hey guys, it's me KC, and welcome back as I continue on in this Jurassic Park themed event. We're in week two at the moment, and things are moving kind of slow for me. Make that really, really slow. In fact, in terms of what I am on the main quest line, I'm only on part number two. It's just been so slow because there's not much you can really do because you have to try to get the Dino Tamer Peter, as well as the Brontosaurus, and eventually you actually have to get the Cave Woman Lois costume all for week two, because they're going to be in the main quest line eventually. So we really have to try to move forward and get some things done. Thankfully, I have now been able to finally get Dino Tamer Peter. It took a lot of work. I finally was able to get enough of the the Dino Claws, that's the biggest problem right now is the Dino Claws, it's just it's a slow process to get them. And obviously the biggest way of, of getting them is the orange vials, which are obviously the eggs, you click the eggs and then you get the, the three dinos that pop up. So that's all that out of the way, but let me show you a Dino Peter. Where do I gotta go for this? Let's see. I think I have to go... Ah, okay. Here we go. Is there a Dymo? Dymo? It's Dino! Dino Tamer Peter. Come here, lizard, lizard, lizard! So I've got enough of the Dino Claws. Six of the pamphlets, which you get from the blueprints. Twenty of the gooey thingies, which I actually got from drops from two characters. And then the leashes. Oh my god, the leashes. It took so long to get the leashes, man. And if you don't know how they actually work, This is how you get him. You said normal Peter and the Velociraptor together. It says it's high. It's not high. It is super, super low or something because I just could not get him for the life of me. So you just have to do this three times. Technically, if you get really lucky, you get the 15 that you need and then you can move on to whatever you want to move on to next. But it took me quite a few days. Many days. That's enough rambling. <laughs> let's Let's get this character, shall we? Let's get this costume skin. One second only, that's good. Yeah! He's all badass with his knife. Come here, lizard, lizard, lizard. Rick and sweet. I still haven't watched Jurassic Park World. I'm really gonna have to check it out. So, let's see what we got for the quest for this character skin. Make low budget dinosaur merch. Adopt a dinosaur. Clean up dinosaur poop. Teach old dinosaur new tricks. I don't know why the same picture, but that's the way it should be. Peel an apple. Ground Dino Chris. Walk a dinosaur. I think that's the very first animated quest. Be a themed junkie. Be one with the dinosaurs. Oh no, he's gonna dress up in a dino costume. I guess you can see there and be one with the dinos. Tame his raptor, which I really thought would have an animation, but it doesn't. So, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for these. I'm going to hold off for just a second, though, because... Oh, I wanted to see if there was anything else. Oh, Peter, you look so handsome and rugged. Yeah, I'm like Bear Grylls, except most of my foraging for food is down at the dumpster behind Taco Bell. Boar Grylls, I don't know who that is. Not a clue. Quagmire? How's dinosaur training going, Peter? Great! I've been watching How to Train Your Dragon. But they're dinosaurs, not dragons, Peter. I know. I learned that the hard way. Turns out calling dinos dragons is like the worst form of dinosaur racism. It's actually pretty funny. I never really thought about that. Have dino tam uh, tamer Peter peel an apple. Raptor take a lunch break, which I think I'm actually doing. No, he's watching TV, never mind. Is he watching TV? He's watching TV, yeah. Because I'm trying to focus on the main quest line. But I looked ahead, and part number three actually is having to put down... Uh, where is it? Oh, this thing right here. The Big Bone Playground, which is going to be a six-hour build time. So I actually have part three pretty much done. And then part number four, it introduces a new type of dinosaur called a... Heposaur or something, or Herposaur. And you have to do something with that, including them. There's this one as well, the Skelosaurus, which is actually needed for the 
uh, Brontosaurus. Yeah, I forgot all about the Brontosaurus. Uh, you need the leaves for that particular character, and it's over here. Oh my god, so much moving around. Yeah, here we go, right here. Previous week was the Velociraptor, now this week is the Brontosaurus. So, diddly 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 darly diddly, what do we got? Uh, 69 of 220, which is not really that bad. Uh, I guess I guess I need about 150 or so, or whatever. Something like that. I have, let's see, 5 of 7 of the Brontosaurus DNA. I'm going to hold off on that for just a second. I actually had enough, but then I needed three of the red DNA for the bone playground. Which, of course, as I said, is needed for my part number three of the main quest line. Then the leaves! Clearing Skullosaurus. They're an eight-hour quest. I've done it once. I had no luck. Make Joe Drake it out is actually a premium character. Paleo Joe, you get it in the mystery box. Right there. Dinotastic mystery box. So you have a chance of getting it in there. The final thing is Caveman Lois. My god, there's so much stuff to work on. I I don't even know what to say to this. I'm so far away from this. It sucks horribly. Obviously the dino bones. Stone tools get from the Brontosaurus training pen, which you will have to put down eventually in the main quest line, so I still have to work on that. 9 or 12 of the polished stones, or whatever these are, the flints. Yeah, Jerome and Bruce, I've been doing that the whole time, and I've had some pretty good luck. And then the cave paint. Let's see. Skull source pen. Egg incubator, which I think is going to be needed in the main quest line as well. We've got Joe. Joe polishes stone, which is the premium character. So I've just been doing regular Joe with these 8 arrow quests over and over and over again. I have 3 of 13, that's it. Long way to go. And unfortunately, I think I said in the beginning of the video, she's going to be needed as well in the main quest line. I think for the final quest, which is part number 10, you're going to need Cave, Man, uh, Cave Woman Lois. That sucks. So you need Dino Tamer Peter, you're going to need the Brontosaurus, and you're going to need Cave Woman Lois. All three characters. You need to get them done for week three. That is, that's going to be tough, man. Uh, that's going to be really, really difficult. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. It is a massive Brontosaurus skeleton fossil decoration. It was actually for completing the first challenge of week one. And I can't remember if it was two days or three days. It was one or the other. And in fact, I actually was about 40 minutes left remaining on the timer. And long story short, I needed one more of the blue DNA uh, vials. And if you get a blue stone as a half an hour conversion time, so obviously with 40 minutes remaining, you gotten it pretty close, and I had there were three characters that could do it, and two of them were ready to go. Neither of them actually like yielded a blue stone, so the other one that was remaining, I sped it up with golden clams. I think it was only about ten clams because it was getting fairly close to finishing, but not enough remaining before the timer was going to expire. Luckily, I got the final blue stone. I converged converged it over, or converted it over, and I think when I was able to actually get to it, there was like three minutes remaining in the challenge, which was pretty crazy, so I was really happy about it. Uh, 10 clams isn't all that much in the end, and I got a really cool looking brontosaurus decoration. I got the bone mountain, but I mean, I, I don't know, I mean that grand prize, I think I, I talked about this a little bit in the previous one, I'm like, what is that? I mean, <laughs> it's like I said, it's probably going to be really, really funny and, and, and kind of silly and, and fun, and you know, if I can get it, that's, it's just great, because I mean, it looks pretty fun, but I expected something a little bit more badass, I guess would be the way of putting it. Basically like this first decoration, like that is badass looking. I, I really like to show you guys the new content in this game and sometimes I just can't do that because it, it's it's pretty it's pretty tough. Uh, the grinds can be pretty crazy, but I do the best that I can to unlock what I can for you guys to show you. It's a lot of work, it is a lot of fun still, but it is very, very grindy still. I try hard though, I really really do, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, if you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up, that would be super duper awesome and amazing, thanks for watching, my name is Casey, and I will see you on more of this Jurassic Park themed events in the future, bye bye guys!